Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a boots haul. If you watched my last video, this will hopefully be the last boots haul for a little while. I've been watching Hannah Louise Poston again, hopefully I'm pronouncing her name correctly, and she really struck a chord with me in 2020 when I started watching her when she was doing her, I don't know if she was doing her no by year then or if she'd completed her no by year, uh, but she talks a lot about um, more conscious and thoughtful consumerism and um, she has a very similar relationship with shopping that I do, um, kind of a, when you're feeling low, when you're feeling out of control, it's the one thing that you'll lean on and it's something that uh, I definitely when I find myself doing that more than normal, it's nice to do a little bit of a bit of a cold turkey, no buy break. And so I've been watching a lot of her content recently and I did have this box of things that I hadn't yet shown you that had arrived, um, but I am gonna be very, very conscious this month to not put a lot of focus on new, 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 because I do want to, I mean, I wanna save a little bit of money for, for holiday, number one, but I do also want to break some of those habits because I found that it was happening a lot when we first moved into this house just on our own. We were buying a lot of stuff and that felt like I had free reign to shop because it was for the house. And then more recently, I've been buying a lot of stuff under the guise of, well, it's for the Vegas vow renewal and well, it's for this and what's for... And I need to kind of reset a little bit, you know? It's not necessarily that you can't afford the way that you're shopping, but it's just that you don't need to be shopping this way and you're not necessarily really thinking about how you're spending your money. So I am going to be creating some content around those themes for the next few weeks if you're interested but I do have a haul first of all um I don't feel too bad about this because the majority of it is needed slash replacement stuff looking now at everything on the table I don't know if I can stand by that needed thing but some of these things were replacement things um and some of them were things that I bought to either make the most of deals you know like three for two or to get a free gift. So the first repurchase was this number seven Hydro Luminous Moisturizing Foundation. I am wearing it today. I love it so, so much. I can't remember the last time I actually repurchased a foundation as soon as I'd finished it. It is gorgeous. It's a medium coverage, it's buildable, it's very, very natural. Um, it's just my favorite favorite. And even when my skin is feeling kind of dry, it still looks really good. It doesn't fall into any of the like, lines and the dryness it doesn't make anything look worse and it just makes my skin look very kind of luminous luminous hydro luminous it's hydrating and it's luminous um i also bought the stay perfect foundation i haven't had this for a little while and i wanted to see how i liked it because i am looking for um i mean it's probably going to be the hydro luminous but it was there was some kind of deal on number seven hear me out um i wanted to try the stay perfect again I haven't had it since the packaging changed. Um, the, the shades in both of these, by the way, are Calico, my absolute perfect shade. If you have a similar, like if you've ever had anything that's matched me and you think, oh, we wear the same shade, Calico is your number seven shade. It's the, the closest shade match I've ever had of any brand. Um, so Stay Perfect is a kind of similar foundation. It's quite thin, medium, buildable, very natural, but it stays perfect. And so I'm gonna test this out over the next few weeks see compared to this which one do I actually think is going to work best for photos for lasting the desert is hot but it is dry so it tends to be that my skin and my makeup last so much better when we're in Las Vegas compared to the humidity of this time of year in the UK it's going to be kind of tricky I'll probably end up taking them both but that's why I bought this and as a result because I bought those two things I got this I think all of these came with this, did they? Do you know, I might have bought, I don't know if this, I don't know if this came with this as a free gift or if I bought this. I don't know because it took about a week to come and I've had it for about a week and I have, it's just been sitting in a box. So it feels like a long time since I actually made this order. But this is the Hydro Luminous Hydrating Fixing Mist. I don't really want to spray it on my face right now. I'll do it at the end of the video in case it leaves me super shiny, because I suspect it will. It's a nice, it's a nice spritz and there is absolutely no fragrance. 
does it say that? Usually it would say fragrance free, but it does say suitable for sensitive skin, giving visibly fresh and glowing skin, uh, keeping your makeup in place for 24 hours. I'll keep you posted. Maybe we'll do a video review of that. At very least, I know that this was a freebie. So in this box are three little miniatures, which will be quite useful for holiday. I know, I'm justifying it. Um, I've got the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Day Cream, although this is only SPF 15, so I'm gonna have to layer that with something stronger anyway. Uh, then there's the Advanced Facial Sun Protection. Again, only SPF 15, which is strange because I think the advanced range is like anti-aging or like definitely aimed at like older skin, which I would say you're gonna want more than SPF 15. And then the Protect and Perfect Lip Care, which I'm quite excited about. I love a new lip balm. I think there was actually 20% off number seven. And then if you spent a certain threshold or you bought a certain number of things, you got that little freebie. Regardless, the freebie wasn't worth it but I believe there was a discount on the actual items. Same as um, NYX, they did some kind of, I don't know if it was like three for two, no it can't have been because I've got four things. What kind of deal did I get from NYX that was four things? It just took me a solid five minutes to unwrap everything. Right, so the first thing that I got was the HD Studio Photogenic Eyeshadow Base. Um, I don't know if I've tried this one before. I feel like I did have a NYX. Maybe it's changed, because I think it was in a white package before. Ooh, okay. This is like an eye primer. Yeah, eyeshadow base, so it's like an eye primer. It's very similar in texture to the, can you even see that, because I've blended it out, uh, to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So, that is interesting. It got quite tacky quite quickly and it's got a colour to it, so it will knock out some of the colour, you know, like give you a nice um, neutral base underneath. For Vegas, I'm definitely using the Too Faced Natural Palette, and I'm gonna do something super natural, just like, not super natural, something really, really pale and creamy on the inner corner, just to kind of like smoky, bronzy on the outer corner. Would we want a video? Would we be interested? Um, the Nick slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on, waterproof extreme colour lip liner. And then below it says, this lip liner is so good, the name had to be this long. I was about to say, is that the longest name you've ever heard? The colour I got was Nude Suede Shoes. Oh, I think this is going to be a good one. I was looking. I'm going to say no. Oh, yeah. I was looking for... Uh, a pale nude lip liner that wasn't like, you know, like paler than my skin. Like, oh, I think this is gonna be good. It's cooler than this pinky one, but a similar depth, like a different tone, but a similar actual like lightness. Is that? What's the word I'm looking for? Also, in case you're wondering, where did I put it? Not in here, here it is. I am actually, strangely enough, wearing a NYX lip product. It is the NYX Powder Puff Lipping. This one, um, in Best Buds. I nearly bought this again because I couldn't be bothered to see if I had it in my collection. I didn't buy it again, and I'm really glad that I didn't because it was really easy to find, still perfect would recommend. I bought that lip liner because I was looking, like I say, for like a pale nude. Um, I, I think I'm really gonna like that. Uh, and I wanted something that was a similar texture to the Urban Decay ones that I love. And I found that NYX is probably the closest that I can find. The more stuff I use, the more I like NYX as a range. They've got some really out there products that kind of put me off. Very colorful, very sparkly, very kind of... But you know what, as I'm saying it, when I used to work for Urban Decay, once upon a time, that is what put people off Urban Decay. It was very bright and in your face and they didn't want to look past that to some of the really good neutrals and the really good bases that they had. This is pre-Naked palette, I'm talking, 2010. Um, so maybe maybe I need to look more at NYX. Uh, and then I got the liner stick in deepest brown. I actually thought I'd got this in like a bronze, but hey ho. A nice brown liner. You can never... 
don't have enough brown eyeliners. They're just so much more flattering, so much softer. Their pencils are really up there in terms of like longevity and um, just very, very comparable to the Urban Decay. Then I got one of these. I, the last one lasted forever. This is the uh, micro brow pencil, micro brow pencil in taupe. Uh, I've been using this for ever and it's perfect. The shade is perfect. No matter what colour hair I have, the shade taupe works for me. It, it just kind of pencil over my faded microblading. Amazing. Just a little bit. So quick. I mean, I do have kind of a template underneath, but if you've got, you know, just sparse brows, but they're a good shape, you'll have a similar situation. You've got a little spoolie on the end. Love. See, so far, so far, we're fairly basic. I haven't bought anything crazy. This is all essential. Last thing, last thing was not essential, but I did get a really small one of it. Um, so I bought the Sol de Janeiro, um, the Boom Boom Cream, uh, a couple of months ago. And I do like it. Truthfully, I don't think it does anything for firming. Um, I wanted to try this one. They've got a few different versions of their uh, creams now. This one says it is an Elasti cream, Beige Floor Elasti. And I suspected that it was gonna be kind of a bust cream. I don't know what the fragrance is gonna be because I think they're all different. Oh, that smells so good. I can't, I don't even know what that smells like. That smells just like something else and I have no idea what it is. Right, I'm gonna put a little bit. Oh, it's thick. I really can't put my finger on it. I bet it's rose, you know. I don't like rose scented things and yet I keep proving myself wrong. It doesn't smell like rose to me, but definitely familiar. I'm gonna have to take to Google. Someone will have uh, identified that for me. So I've bought this. I'm gonna use a very small amount of it. I'm only going to use it on uh, my chest. I used to have one from Mamma Mio called Boob Tube. Really like that. I loved one from Lush years ago that was called Lovely Jubblies. I do find that those kinds of creams are effective at, um, even if they're not firming, they appear to be firming the chest area. They definitely make everything really, really soft and smooth. And especially with losing a little bit of weight recently, I'm very mindful that I want this area to not sag more than usual because my boobs have shrunk a little bit. So I thought I'm gonna buy myself a nice kind of chest cream. I was going to buy the uh, neck and chest like youth stuff from Beauty Pie. I decided that I don't need that right now. I've just bought this. I'm gonna use this. At some point I will. At some point I will dip my toe into the Beauty Pie pool and I will buy it then. Um, but I have other things that I can use right now. And especially because I just bought this, I don't need that as well. So I will let you know how I get on with this, but it smells amazing. It actually smells loads nicer than the other one. The other one's a little bit sweet and foody for me. It is floral, it is. I'm gonna have to Google it. It's like a salt smell. It's totally a salt smell. So it says, it's all about the Brazilian jasmine, pink dragon fruit, ocean air, and vanilla. Now I don't tend to like jasmine, but it's the ocean air thing. I think it smells like a Bath and Body Works candle. I don't know which one. But, oh, and somebody else has said salted caramel. Yeah, it's a salty sweetness, completely. Really fresh. I like that. I would potentially, because I think they do spritzes. I think they do like fragrances of their scents. I would consider that one. That's really nice. Anyway, that's everything. That's everything that I bought. It felt like more. I suppose it was quite a few things, just little things. Um, and you know, it racks up. So I'm going to commit to using what I have. I still have a few little bits that I need to get for Vegas, but really not a lot. And I have put so much stuff on Vinted. I feel like it's kind of a one in one out. If I can get rid of things on Vinted, then I can use that money on Vinted to spend elsewhere. But otherwise I really don't need to be buying new things. I have everything that I need, really. And I need to uh, kind of pull back and and um, find other coping mechanisms for <laughs> for my emotions other than just buying new things, you know? 
So, uh, yeah, look forward to some content on that and my uh, inevitable meltdowns soon. There will still be some kind of browsing and shopping stuff. I think I'm gonna go to Primark soon because there seems to be some quite cool new autumn things, uh, but I am going to try and uh, not buy anything. So it will be a browsing session for you and I to share coming soon. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I will link everything below and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.